At one time or another, everyone who launches a model rocket will encounter the frustration of seeing their rocket spinning about its roll axis as it launches. The rolling motion is annoying because it can ruin an onboard video if it is severe enough, or it's simply the fact that the rocket is not going as high as possible because the rolling motion is robbing the rocket of altitude. The cause of the rolling motion of a rocket is almost always due to poor fin alignment. The purpose of this video is to show how we address the problem in one of our giant water rockets and some of the tricks we have learned over the years. In the past, we glued our fins to a cylinder, which would slide onto the bottom of the rocket. The assembly is called a fin can and can be seen here painted blue in this video. The fin can worked to some degree, but the glue joints were prone to failure during high pressure launches until we buttressed them with reinforcing strips. By the time we finished, the fin can was quite heavy, and if the fins were not glued together perfectly straight, the rocket would inevitably roll during flight. We first attempted to fix this problem by creating a self-aligning fin can, which we call a box fin. The box fin does a great job of aligning the fins and eliminating the spin, but the extra fin material interferes with any side boosters we would want to add, so we needed a traditional fin solution. The answer we came up with is a self-aligning fin bracket. We designed our brackets to be 3D printed, but there is no reason that a similar design could not be made from fiberglass, plastic, or wood. By 3D printing, we are able to make a single bracket design that has features on the mating surfaces designed to force each bracket to align perfectly with its neighbors. The fin brackets have a hole in each end, which accepts a nylon screw once tapped. We even added a countersink for the head of the screw to reduce drag. We cut the fins from coroflute material and made notches and screw holes in the fin root where the brackets would sit. Each bracket is screwed through the fin and into the mating bracket. This continues in the same fashion until the last bracket mates with the first. In this design, we use two rows of brackets spaced a few inches apart to save weight as opposed to a much larger bracket. With the second row completed, we make sure that the screws are loosened, and then we slide the whole fin assembly over the bottom of the rocket. When the screws are tightened, the fins are held firmly in place. One trick we learned was to always orient the core flute so that the corrugations are aligned with the airflow of the rocket. The fin must always be flat in this direction to avoid induced rolling. The corrugations are very strong in this direction and will resist bending. If the fins ever do get bent, the orientation of the damage will always be in a direction that does not matter to the oncoming air. Speaking of which, this orientation of the fins will allow the air to pass through the hollow core flute, reducing drag. As you can see here, the new fin brackets not only look great, they are also vastly superior at controlling spin on these rocket flights. The spinning is reduced to the point where it may simply be caused by the camera protruding from the rocket. It is very hard to know for sure. In this final video, we also had an unintentional durability test as the deploy system battery died while on the launch pad and the rocket flew a ballistic trajectory. You can see that the fins suffered no damage in the crash and the rocket was repaired and flown again. We hope you have found some useful information in this video and that you can apply it to your own rockets and would like to encourage you to leave questions and comments below. You can check out more of our project videos if you're interested or visit our website uswaterrockets.com at the link provided in the video description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.